Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are having a beautiful and blessed day. So in today's video, I will be doing a mermaid set of nails. I haven't done one in I don't know how long. So I think it's definitely time to do another one, especially for the summertime. So if you guys would like to see what I am about to do and you would like to learn, then please keep on watching. Mwah. Okay, so I want to start by mentioning that before recording this tutorial, I prepped my natural nails and I applied the extensions, so I am going to go directly into the acrylic application. Using Cover Pink, I am going to freehand two almonds with pronounced smile lines to later create a French design. I am going to seal the sides and the cuticle area very well to avoid lifting. As you guys can see on screen, I am carrying out this process on the ring fingernail and then I am also going to repeat it on the middle nail. Continuing on the pinky index and thumbnail, I am going to create an ombre with glitter and I am going to start by applying this aqua blue glitter on the tip of the nails and I am going to blend it towards the cuticle area. When I say that I am going to blend it towards the cuticle area, I don't mean that I am going to bring it exactly to the cuticle area, but rather that I am going to blend it in that direction to about half of the nail as you guys can see on screen. Speaking a little bit about the glitter, I chose these colors because they remind me of the beach, the ocean, I think they go perfectly with the theme of the nails, so I love them so much. To complement the aqua blue color, I am going to mix the two glitters and I am going to blend them in the opposite direction. I really like to mix the gold glitter and the white glitter to tame the yellow color down a little bit. I personally think it looks a lot better and far more delicate. Let me know what you guys think, if you agree with me or not in the comments. Okay, so as you guys can see on screen, I am applying this mixture on the pinky nail, the index nail, and the thumbnail, sealing the cuticle and lateral areas very well, especially since I am working with glitter. After finishing the gradient, I am going to apply a thin layer of iridescent blue glitter because you guys know that I love glitter and this glitter is going to create beautiful iridescent reflections. I am also going to apply a few pieces of this round iridescent aqua blue glitter. I am not applying them in a specific order, I am simply leaving them more or less where they land as I run the brush through the nails. In the areas in between the round glitter, I am going to apply a few pieces of this chunky glitter also in aqua blue. This is the last glitter that I am going to apply, I promise, and I am just going to add a minimal amount as you guys can see on screen. To create more pronounced iridescent reflections, I am going to cut pieces of angel paper and apply them onto the nails. I am going to apply about two to three pieces per nail and I am going to seal them with clear acrylic. After finishing this part of the process, I am going to encapsulate these three nails using crystal clear acrylic to seal the design and to create the structure.
After encapsulating, I am going to finish the design of the two remaining nails and the first thing that I am going to do is detail the smile lines with my hand file to achieve a clean and professional finish. This part of the process is completely optional, but I personally love doing it because I am super inclined to details and these tiny little details make a huge difference. After detailing the smile lines, I am going to remove the excess dust with my pink fluffy brush and I am going to take small tricolor beads using the same glitters that I used previously. I am going to apply these little beads very carefully to avoid spreading glitter all over the nail and I am going to apply this layer as thin as possible sealing the sides well. After finishing with this first coat, I am going to apply a little bit of the same blue iridescent glitter that I applied on the other nails. This is a much better angle for you guys to see how thin the first layer is so that when filing the nails, I am not accidentally removing the design. Okay, so on these nails, I am also going to apply aqua glitter, starting with the biggest kind, which is also iridescent. I am going to apply two pieces of this glitter per nail, and in between, I am going to apply small chunky glitter as well. I am going to pre-encapsulate with the iridescent blue glitter acrylic, and then I am going to encapsulate the tips fully with crystal clear acrylic. After encapsulating all the nails, I am going to remove the excess acrylic with my e-file machine and my metal carbide bit, and I am going to shape the nails as well using my hand file. After filing and removing the excess dust, I am going to clean the nails of oils and impurities with a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol. I am going to apply a layer of gel top coat on the pinky, index, and thumbnail, and I am going to cure it under the lamp for 60 seconds. I was really looking forward to this part of the process to see how the glitter stands out with the gel top coat. This is literally my favorite part of the process, you guys. After curing the gel on the three nails, on the ring fingernail, I am going to place a starfish that I am going to make with this color and a 3D mold. I had already shared this technique with you guys a few years ago when I did a lot of mermaid nails. I love these molds, so for those of you who are interested, I got them on eBay a while ago, but I am sure you guys can still find them there. Okay, so I am going to wait until the starfish is semi-dry, and then I am going to apply a little monomer on the part of the nail where I'm going to place it. I'm going to remove it from the mold, I'm going to put it on the nail, and with the tip of my finger, I am going to press down so that it adheres to the monomer that I applied. To make sure it stays in place and it doesn't fall off, I'm going to seal the sides of the starfish with crystal clear acrylic. After sealing, I am going to clean again with a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol and I am going to apply two small Swarovski crystals on the ring fingernail and one on the middle of the middle nail by the cuticle area. I am going to apply gel top coat around the star and the crystals that I applied and then I am going to cure under the lamp for 60 seconds.
To finish off, I am going to apply cuticle oil to nourish the area. And my loves, this is the final product. I personally love the way these nails came out, but let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you guys can be up to date with all my videos. I love you all very much. I'll see you soon. May God bless you. Mwah.